Christmas Eve. In the morning, your family would line up in height order as the shortest sibling led you into the living room to find presents cascading from beneath the tree. Forty minutes later, you're surrounded by mounds of ripped wrapping paper. Your toys are somewhere beneath, and you're fighting to float to the surface, treading tear paper, searching for a final present that is always missing under someone else's couch or unwrapped in gathering dust. Ten years later, you're online shopping. See, it's not about the Jordans. It's about the email from the mailroom that says the package has arrived. Yeah. You send her a text at 9.13. Tonight, you're going to ask her to come home with you. You're trying to let her know you're desperate without actually appearing desperate. The only value in this conversation is the distance it closes in the gap between her and you, between here and your bedroom. You will orient your entire night around this. You will orbit this shit like a black hole. You will develop tunnel vision. You don't even know what she tastes like, and she will flavor your entire night. Every other girl will be not her. Every song will sound like not her. Dancing will just become moving around people who are not, not her. her. You are accumulating self-confidence to be implemented at some later date. You are a bottomless to-do list. You are starting tomorrow. You are one step behind the girl who has it all figured out. You hear she's beautiful. You hear she reads a lot and sleeps eight hours a night. In the gym, you read magazines that boast 10 new moves to tighten your abs and 19 ways to make him fall in love with you and seven pieces of flesh to cut off and mail in for a complimentary knife. Whoa! You run off the elliptical with the magazine in front of you. You glue a finish line to page 13. You forget the elliptical is a stationary object. You are always half a centimeter away. But you're not. You made it. You're here. You know when you're stuck on the runway for like one and a half movies, feeling like you'll never take off? Well, you landed. That longest car ride ever is now over. You're no longer waiting in line to get on the roller coaster. Everything that's ever happened is no longer the case. The past was once true. And the future may be at some point. But as, as of now, now they're, they're both imaginary. imaginary. Oh, and in other news, have been replaced. The newest one reads, congratulations, you exist. Another says, look what's happening while you wait for that text. And another, you are exactly full and will never need to buy anything else. Forever. <laughs> for as long as we've been alive, right now, was the future. And just like that, it's gone. Watch. In three seconds, we'll save the future. The future. <laughs>